In this video, I will be looking at what the best accessory is and what the worst accessory is in a tier list. Though, before I begin, I just want to point out that it's mainly the substats that matter. If you have a legendary accessory with a worse main stat than a mythical, but it has better substats, it's better. Um, so, what you want in an accessory is attack, critical chance, critical damage, cooldown reduction, and assist cooldown reduction. As long as it has a lot of those substats and good percentages, then it's a good accessory. However, right now I'm rating the accessories by the amount of substats, so the more likely you have to get a good subset and the main stats. So basically as you can see on this tier list I have three really peculiar tiers though they're actually not really in the tier list but I just want to add them. It's boss rush meta, raid meta, dimensions meta, time challenge meta and infinite meta with five demons. So the boss rush and raid meta is maneuver gear that has good boss damage uh, the dimension and sh uh, time challenge meta is uh, the energy wings because they're good uh, cooldown reduction and the infinite meta has the titan blade because it's just damage in general to mobs as well. But the other tiers are like a normal tier list. Um, the best one being good at basically everything, the worst one being bad at basically everything. It's usefulness in every single game mode, so sure, Maneuver Gear is the best in Boss Rush and Braid, and considered by many the best accessory to get, and I also think it, you should get that because it's the best for raids and stuff like that, but it's not really good for time challenge, dimensions, or infinite, let's say, because it's only boss damage. So the five accessories at S tier are all mythicals. Um, they all have five subsets, though the Titan Blade is probably the best one because it has 12% attack. It's good for everything. The Energy Wings come in a second, has 9% cooldown reduction, and that's really high for cooldown reduction. The Sword of Sun and Eternal Free has the same subsets, or, uh, or the main sets, um, and that's critical chance by 10%, that's really good. And the Maneuver Gear is also really good, though mainly good in boss rush and raids, that's why it's so low in S tier. Though it is like the best accessory for raids and boss rush. Coming at the top of A tier we have the Glacial Wing and we have Alter Sword. They're both mythical so they got 5 subsets, though 17% critical damage from the Glacial Wing and 15% uh, mob damage from the Alter Sword is really not useful too much. You, you'd rather have the boss damage for raids instead of the mob damage, and you'd rather have critical chance over critical damage, because either even if you deal more damage in a crit, it doesn't matter if you don't crit. They also have the Black Cat and with the Truth Seeking Orbs. Yeah, both of them have 7% attack with 4 subsets because they're legendaries and the reason why they're so high up is the same as Titan Blade. It's just good in every single game mode. Coming in beat here we got Ghoul Wings at first with 7% cooldown reduction. We got Flame Tiger Cub with 10% boss damage. Shadow Aura with 7% critical chance and Ghoul Mask with 11% critical damage. They are all legendary, so they got four subsets. But the reason why they're in this order is basically the same as the mythicals. Um, you want the cooldown reduction is really helpful. It's good in everything. The boss damage is more situational in bosses and stuff like that. Though so the critical chance and the critical damage are good, but they're, since they're so low subsets, it's not as useful as the boss damage, which is pretty high, and the cooldown reduction. We got dual swords at 10 mob damage, it's not too good anymore. Minute plated titan at 5% exp which is pretty good, even though it only has 2 subsets. Liberator's sword which is the best epic at 5% cooldown reduction. Mel uh, Malevolent shrine at 5% boss damage. The boss damage is good but it's just not as high, but like maybe 7% would made, make it the best. We have Tall Might's uh, Toy at 6% mob damage, and mob damage is just isn't a good stat really. 
Then the worst two accessories are uh, the Infinity Train at rare, two substats, 3% mob damage is the main stat, it's really bad. And the Liberator Shield, three substats, but the main stat is 12% HP. That's just horrible.